In our last lesson, we worked on the right column. Um, in this lesson, we're going to work on the read more, which would look like this uh, page here. So we have our article and comments. Okay, so to get cracking on our own, we are going to first uh, create our article HTML. So that's what I'm going to do here. So save this as article uh, .html. Okay, so I'm going to copy everything from the post HTML, get rid of it, and then paste it within our new article. Okay, so we're just recycling what we've used. So change a few references to posts uh, into article. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to delete everything within our column MD8. So everything within this um, collapsed um, section. So I'm going to copy everything there and hit the delete button. Right. Okay, so we could uh, save this and, but before we preview, we're going to the poster HTML and change uh, the href so it links to our newly created page. So article.html, okay. So we could go ahead and save this. Okay, so now if we go into the browser, uh, reset the page and then click on read more, it takes us to our new article page with a blank right column. So in our right column, we are going to uh, write a few codes. It will start with an um, article. So we are writing an article which would have a header. So we use a H1 for the header. Add some dummy text in there. Uh, delete some so it's not too long. So we could stop there. Okay, and just below our H1, we'll add a new class. Uh, bootstraps lead um, class and then we'll add the dummy text that we want to be our article. So let's save and reset the page and see what we've done. So we've done this section. So the next section would be the comments um, section. So below our article, I'll make a new div ID uh, called that comments. So our comments would also have a header, a H2, and we'll give it a title comments. Okay, so below our comments, I have a class called row, and row will have two, two classes. So one would be uh, column MD 11, so it's one short of uh, the full row. So the second one would be one, make, giving us a total of 12. So the left would be this comment section here and the right would be the numbering on the right. So that's 11 and one. So on the comment section, we have a paragraph uh, element. And within that, we have our dummy uh, text and we could get rid of, get rid of a few of it. So we have just enough to fit into the size. And on the right side, so just below our paragraph, uh, we're going to add a uh, footer information. So this is additional information about the comment. So this would be a small tag and then bold, have the name of the person who's um, left the comment. And then we we'll add some more information commented on. So this, we're hard coding the date because we haven't done anything to do with databases yet. So we'll cover this in the future lessons using uh, Node.js. So that's why we have our comments. So we've replicated this section. So we have a um, horizontal rule uh, to, to add to it. So just uh, below your footer, you can have your HR for horizontal rule. And we also add um, our numbering. So we could actually add this to the same line, just add zero one. And that's um, save that and reset. And we could see 
uh, the horizontal rule is there and our numbering is also displayed here okay so so far we've worked on the article and worked on the comments um, we have the form section which we'll um, deal with in the next lesson uh, so this is pretty much where we'll stop uh, for this lesson and in the next lesson we'll expand and work on the form so I'll see you in the next lesson